Okay, today I'm gonna give you a tutorial about how to use iPad to take screencasts and edit the movie in the iMovie, which is included part of the iPad software, and upload it to YouTube or your course LMS. The first step that we have to go through is to make sure that screen recording is enabled in iPad. Automatically, it is not enabled, so you have to manually enable it, and I'll show you how to do it. So you first click on the settings, then you go down to control center and you're going to hit the customize controls. Okay. In here, my screen recording is already embedded. So I'll show you how it's going to look like. If you don't have it, you're going to scroll down over here and you're going to see a screen recording and there is a plus sign. You hit the plus sign. It just moves it up and now I'm good to go. Okay. From this end. And what will happen is if I pull this down, from the up right and you will see that I'm recording currently right so this donut kind of shape indicates you have to click on it you have to long press on it and you can see this microphone on make sure that your microphone is on okay now you're recording everything that I have on my screen okay so if you would like to you can just simply go to your notes okay with an apple pen or logitech crayon or any stylus you can write over here Okay. So for instance, I specialize in fluid mechanics. So I'm going to give you a basic equation from there. So you can see that I can select this and I can go ahead and del rho del t plus del rho u del x plus del rho v del y plus del rho w del z is equal to zero. This is the conservation of mass. So then I can scroll down, right? I can scroll down, I can scroll up. You can have an eraser down here. You can have highlighter. Okay, so if I'm interested in when I'm talking to the students about the velocity in the X, so I can indicate that. And if I want to do, okay, the velocity in the Y direction, I can do that. I can go ahead and do the, the velocity in the Z direction. I can do these when I'm talking about these things as well. However, as I get more experienced in recording lecture videos, I run the limitations of the stock notes app. Okay. One of them is every time you want to change, for instance, you make a mistake and you will make a mistake. If you want to erase this, you can see that there is, you can erase this for instance, right? Then I have to click on the pencil icon and I can write it. So it's kind of not the best. Okay. Okay. I went ahead and purchased um, a particular software and I'm, I'm sure it's not the only one. Notable, it's fairly highly ranked. So I purchased the Notability app, okay? So the advantage is Notability app, like I think physically it's more appealing. It looks like a paper. And also I have these rectangles on the paper so I can align my writing, okay? For instance, over here, I can write del rho, del t, plus del rho u, del x, plus Okay, so now I'm gonna highlight you the disadvantage of Apple Pen. I have to get rid of it in the notability as well. You can see that if I look here, you can see that this is not uniformly thick, right? It's thicker at the center because I was pushing more pressure into it. So one advantage of notability is if you clicked over to the pen icon, you can see there's two um, moving between them, right? This actually deactivates the pressure sensitivity of the Apple Pen, okay? So in fact, Apple Pen is not the best for me to record my videos so i was able to bypass this by using this in a disabling right so now i can write better del rho del t plus del rho u del x plus del rho v del y plus del rho w del z is equal to zero you can see over here i'm kind of squeezed to the right upper side so i can use the cut function i can use this I can select this text and the advantage with my finger, I can just move it to the next line, for instance, right? So that, that's an advantage of the software as well. Anyways, there's many notability tutorials online. I want to highlight a few things, some tips and tricks. You will make a mistake at some point. So what I do when I make a mistake is I um, give a long pause, okay, in the video recording. So because I'll show you in the iMovie, you will be able to identify them easily. Plus, I clap my hands, so I'll do it right now. You will see what I mean. So this high tone or spike 
in the audio will give me an indication that I made a mistake. Okay. Okay. The next step is to end this recording, right? You will end this recording and then you'll go to the iMovie and you will edit your movie. Okay. In order to end the recording, you hit on this, it says screen recording, stop screen recording. I'm not going to say stop now because I'm recording for your purposes, but you're going to hit the stop button. Once you hit the stop button, what will help, what will it do is it will take a minute and it's going to save this screencasting into the photos app. You can change that. I don't recommend it. it. It looks good enough for me. And you will have a recording at the photos um, app. Okay. So I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to hit stop. So I'm going to hit cancel now. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to edit your movie in the iMovie app. So I'm going to click on it. I'm going to click on the iMovie. I'm going to plus sign and just please select and click on it and it will give you the options in terms of how you should combine all everything that I recorded so far. You can see yesterday, March 18th, etc. You can select this and this and when you select these and these you will see that down here it's going to say create movie with two items and six minutes, right? I click on the create movie, it's creating the movie now, right? So this is my, as you can see, I'm just having over here, right? So, okay, so I'll show you some basic things that you need to know right off the bat, okay? Number one, you will see here that in the video, at the top, you will see the date, these all options that I'm recording, my battery life, etc. So I don't want that to be shown in my lectures. So what I do is you hit on this bottom clip and you will see that some options are going to be enabled. One of the options up there is going to be magnifier glass, right? Hit this magnifying glass, it says pinch the zoom, it's fairly self-explanatory, so I pinch it, okay, I can move it up, it's not enough, I'll pinch it a little bit further, now to me this is too much, I go down, I go up, I don't want to miss any, so this is perfect, okay, so this is perfect for me, so now I'm done with the pinching the zoom, and you can see I don't do very extensive editing, I do make lots of mistakes, right, um, and also we have to edit this. For instance, you can see here, this is the start of my um, lecture, right? I have a bunch of stuff that I don't want to show. And you can see here, I go to the screen and I, I still double check, triple check, etc., etc., right? So I want to delete all these. So what you have to do is, what I do is I click or on the recording itself, okay? And I'll go to the section where I want to start my recording, okay? Obviously, when you do the editing yourself, you will hear the audio as well. And down here, you can see the audio clip, okay? For instance, now, look at this. There's no talking over here, right? I'm not talking at all, so I know that there's something, um, nothing there, so I'm not gonna show that to students. So you can see I will come over here, right? And I will hit this white line, okay? And it will give me some options. Split, detach audio, duplicate, and you can play with the speed, I, sometimes I play with the speed when I'm talking about any question which seems to be um, a long question and I don't want to take away so I go to 1.25 times you can change the volume you can make it you know much higher much lower so you can see that I do depending on sometimes it is more than I want sometimes it's less than I want so I can do that you can add some titles etc uh, you know um, there's a lot of different options that you have you can use filters I don't Okay, I don't use any filters, I don't use any titles, okay? But the thing that I do a lot is called the split, okay? You can see right up the actions over here. So I hit it, what it is, it, it now divided this recording into two sections. And you can see this section over here is the one that I don't want to have. So I click on it, okay? And at the right bottom, there's a delete. So I just go ahead and delete it. So now, if I go here, you will okay. see. The next part of the question is asking me, what is my Okay, now what I want to do is, what I want to show you is there's a transitions options, okay? So these transitions are, uh, get, can get fairly complicated, okay? I'll show you a case. For instance, over here, let's say that I'm looking at it. You can see there's a pause here that I have, right? It means I made a mistake somewhere, right? I write, for instance, on the board, I write instead of del u, I write del v in this particular case, right? So I realize that. So I'm going to actually go ahead and delete this whole thing as well. So 
I restarted the video, right? So you can see here, then I start talking. So I'm gonna stop here, I'm gonna call it split, and I'm gonna have click on this and delete the whole thing. So this is not my this is not the part that I want to show to the students. Right? Question tests me on. You can see over here I have a long pause. I made a mistake as well. Okay, so I decided to start again. So I go here, I split, I delete this. Now see it will look better. Okay, part two of the question asks me to find the velocity potential. Okay, before we find the velocity potential, so you can see this way. And you will make mistakes. Again, I made another mistake here, a long pause. So what I do is I go over here and I split it in here and I'll show you some feature uh, as well. So I go here and I split. I can hit and delete, right? So basically I'm trimming the video. And in some cases what will happen is you will see I have some pause over here, okay? This doesn't mean I made a mistake, but I, I ran out of what I was gonna say. So I give myself a pause and restart my sentence so I can delete this as well. So I'm not gonna show you in this video, okay? Now, I'll show you some trick as well that you will face into. All right, let's say that I made a mistake here, right? Let's say this is not the case, but let's say I made a mistake here and I wanna delete this part to this part. And you see what happens is the screen has shifted, right? From here to here that I wanna delete. So I'll show you something that I think it looks good. So you can do split here. Then this is not ideal, but I'm trying to salvage what I can. And let's say that I wanna delete this part, right? So my video is not gonna look nice. I'll show you one second. After I established it, my velocity potential, you can see there's a jump. So what I do is I click on this transition. There's an I in a bracket, right? So I go to I and I do the dissolve option. Okay, there's a bunch of different options. You know, you can play with it, but I like this particular one. Okay. So I'll, sh I'll show you how it works now. After I establish the potential, okay? You can see it looks a bit more professional. That's not ideal, okay? So, and then I usually at the end, it's up to you. Um, you can see I make mistakes, right? So I'm erasing everything, I'm rewriting it. So you, we will edit this because this particular course is fairly dense in mathematics, okay? And one thing I also wanna show, Highlight that do not use example from the books due to copyright reasons. Make your own problems. This is my own problem that I solved in a regular pen and pencil and now I'm replicating it, okay? All right, um, anyways, at the end, let's say that I come over here and let's see the end, right? So it's an abrupt end. So what I typically do is I go to settings and I, oh, I do fade out to black, okay? There's so many options. You can just uh, filter here. There's uh, some themes, there's a soundtrack. So I don't use any of these. But at the end, I do use the only thing that I use here is fade out to black. Okay? So you can go back and lost the see. potential. It looks more professional to me. So then once you're done with this clip, you're very comfortable with it, right? I go hit done. So now the movie is generated. Okay? There's a name for it. So I'm going to change the, for instance, conserve of mass, right, as an example. So what I do now is how are you gonna get this movie into your course module, or how are you gonna get this to YouTube, depending on how you wanna proceed. What you need to do is you hit this share button down here, the middle option, I click on it, and you can see that I can just simply send it to the box, right? That's a one feasible option. You can just send it to the box and that's it you have access to from your computer, okay? Um, you can mail it to yourself. I sometimes do that as well. Um, however, I typically what you do is, in this case, I upload to YouTube, okay? You can see the title is Conservation of Mass. I wanna do a public, and typically 720p is good enough, right? So then I just hit the share button. Once I hit the share button, it will be sent to the YouTube, so you don't have to do anything else. The rest of the process will be done by the YouTube studio software okay however let's say that you don't want to use the youtube you want to simply put this video into your course content in lms right so then what you have to do is you have to hit this button and either you can export the object you can save the files you can save the video right or you can directly send it like i mentioned before you can directly mail it to yourself okay it's gonna obviously export the movie for you to send it, you send it, and you put it into your LMS module.